In this video, we'll be discussing data augmentation and under what circumstances we may want to use it. Data augmentation occurs when we create new data based on modifications of our existing data. So essentially, we're creating new augmented data by making reasonable modifications to data in our training set. For example, we could augment image data by flipping the images, either horizontally or vertically. We could rotate the images, zoom in or out, crop, or even vary the color of the images. All of these are common data augmentation techniques. But why would we want to do this? Why use data augmentation anyway? Well, for one, we may just want to add more data to our training set. Say we have a relatively small amount of samples to include in our training set, and it's difficult to get more. Then we could create new data from our existing data set using data augmentation to create more samples. Additionally, we may want to use data augmentation to reduce overfitting. Recall we mentioned this point in our video that covered overfitting. If our model is overfitting, one technique is just to add more data. We can easily create more data using data augmentation if we don't have access to additional samples. Also, in regards to overfitting, think about if we had a data set full of images of dogs, but most of the dogs were facing to the right. Then if a model was trained on these images, it's reasonable to think that the model would believe that only these right-facing dogs were actually dogs. It may very well not classify left-facing dogs as actually being dogs when we deploy this model in the field or use it to predict on test images. So with this, producing new left-facing images of dogs by augmenting the original images of right-facing dogs would be a reasonable modification. We would do this by horizontally flipping the original images to produce new ones. Now some data augmentation techniques may not be appropriate to use on our given data sets. Sticking with the dog example, we stated that horizontally flipping the images of our dogs would make sense. However, it wouldn't necessarily be reasonable to modify our dog images by vertically flipping them. Because in real world images of dogs, it's not really likely that we'll be seeing many images of dogs flipped upside down on their heads or on their backs. Now if you're interested in seeing how to do this in code using Keras, I'll flash my video on the screen now that shows how to implement data augmentation for my Keras playlist. In that video, we show how to make 10 augmented images from an original image of a dog by rotating the image, shifting the width and height, zooming, varying the color, and horizontally flipping the image. This is actually pretty simple to implement when we use Keras Image Data Generator class. You can find out all the necessary technical details for how this is done by heading over to that video now. So hopefully now you have an understanding for what data augmentation is and why it makes sense to use it. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.